Well, what do we have here? Welcome back to KTV. That's Knife Television, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back, everybody. Hey, didn't plan on doing this today, but I just happened to have these handy, and I go, you know what? These are some of the greatest knives in my collection. They really are. And maybe you have them all, too. I got five truly awesome knives here. And in case you haven't seen, I highly recommend each and every one. All right? They're really not in any kind of order as to, like, favorite or anything. But, um... But if you ever see them online available, hop on it, all right? Just trust me. Take my word for it. Now, this is my opinion only. It's not a fact. I'm not sure what kind of a title to put on this video. I'm still thinking about it. Um, top five survival knives under, five, uh, under seven inch cutting edge. Uh, top five knives for survival. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. All right. If you can come up with a great title, leave it in the comments. All right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If, I'm, if this helps just one person, did my job. All right. So first and foremost, we're going to start with smallest to the biggest. Number one I have here is made in Spain, the Kudman. MT5U, overall length, 9 inches, with a 4 and a quarter inch blade length. Micarta handle, beautiful red spacers. We'll come closer at the end. All right. Oh, and by the way, all of these have been tested. This is a great knife. All right. Made of N695 Bowler. It's just... A great knife and comes with you know a nice leather sheath black with like a little red stitching and uh to carry it horizontally or vertically all right kudman and i think we've touched on this before when you see the elephant stamped that's kudman next i've talked about this quite a few times by pole force if you ever see it this is called the prepper Sear, S-E-R-E, -E. nylock steel, canvas composite handle. This is so awesome. All right, even has a little tool here on the on the handguard. Gloves are falling off. Sorry about that. Um, here we go. Overall length, nine point forty-five inches. Blade length of 4.65 inches, 6 millimeter thick, nylock steel. This is just kind of like a mini kind of like, you know, heart stopper, right? Comes in a nice Kydex sheath too. If you can find one, trust me, this, uh, the scales even, you know, this little tool here is for the scales. All right, unscrew that there, and you can put little, uh, you know, fishing line, whatever, you know, matches. Survival situations. All right, next in line, uh, just an all-time favorite. The Ontario SK-5 Blackbird. Now, I don't know about the sheath anymore. I don't know if it's they're coming this way or did they switch it to the black polyester. But this sheath is designed, uh, they followed by mil spec, right? I love this sheath, that Coyote Brown, but you could always get yourself a sheath somewhere. It's not the prettiest knife on the planet, but you can rely on this. You honestly can. Ontario SK5 Blackboard. Blackboard. <laughs> This is made of the S35 steel, S35 VN, right? Overall length, 10 inches with a 5-inch blade, 
mile compatible sheath and a micarta handle all right as i said it's not the prettiest but it's probably one of the best all right do you guys have the blackbird do you leave it in the comments next is the cold steel srk can anybody tell me what the srk stands for come on tidex type sheath i love this knife all right this is made of the san mai steel san mai however you guys want to put it vg10 steel overall length 10 and 3 quarter inches with a 6 inch blade crates on handle all right it's just under a quarter inch thick all right it's just under which leads me to the quarter inch thick buddy this one here has received the most use from my collection and i got a, another sheath for this all right and i do believe you could actually die with this knife I think we covered that before, right? This is the Falknavin A1, made of VG10 laminate steel, made in Sweden, 11 inches overall, with a six inch blade, crate and handle, and, and this is a quarter of an inch thick. Just beats out, you know, the cold steel SRK. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. I mean, it looks so darn similar. You know, you hold them from a distance. I'm not, I'm not sure which one you got. But anyway, highly recommend any, any, any of these knives. All right? I didn't plan on doing a video today, but I eh, just do a little house cleaning, and I'm like, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> All right? Let's, uh, how about just a little um, edge test on each, right? We got time, right? You got time? I haven't touched any of these, all right? So let's start with the Kudman MT5U. Still razor sharp. The Prepper. Love these knives. Ah. Uh. This one wins. Whew. Razor. How about the Blackbird here? Let's see what we got here. Yes. I mean, these are great prepping food, survival situation, uh, you know, bushcraft. I mean, they're not the ginormous buoys that I love so much. They're more of a convenient carry. You understand? Even the guys know I love those 7, 8 inch, 9 inch, 10 inch blades. The SRK. Uh, might need a little touch up on this. I don't want to cut my glove. Still, still, still pretty darn sharp though. cold out today too this is still still very sharp i'm just cutting like a moron and the falcon in as you can see close this one's got the most use lots of marks on this let's see here and the winner is i can't say it i can't say it i just can't so, anyway, these five knives, I seriously recommend. And, uh, hey, let's do a quick little once-over. I'm going to have to take the gloves off for this. He's taking off the gloves, ladies and gentlemen. Because I'm uncoordinated. Again, made in Spain. The Kudamin with that skull crusher right here. Look at this. Got that distilled taper. Looks like it starts out at a quarter inch and comes down a bit. 
Isn't that a beautiful handle design? Look at that. So nice. The prepper. Skull crusher. Coconut opener. Heavy duty. Badass. The Ontario. A little thin on the spine, but still a very solid, solid knife. By the way, these are all full tang, by the way. Love that sheath. Got a good story about that sheath, too. You're going to have to look at the video I did about three, four years ago. The SRK. What does SRK stand for? Tell me. Love that handle. Fochtevin, though, I was going to do a comparison test. I can already tell you the Fochtevin wins. Because it's got a skull crusher. Unlike the SRK. Unlike the spine is a quarter inch. Unlike. <laughs> They're still awesome. I'm sorry. All right, everybody. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. So, uh. Hey, make sure you leave a comment, like, subscribe, see you in a couple days. And uh, remember, if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.